What up guys, it is Justice here and this very special video which I'm bringing you today is the progress of my final boss loot tab. Yes, I have been keeping a loot tab in the bank and over the past couple of final boss episodes I have not shared with you that progress so far in terms of the money I have made so far from PVM. And it's very interesting this for myself because I haven't actually price checked the loot tab at all over the past month and a half or so. So I'm very interested myself in terms of the outcome of price checking all of this loot. As you can see in my money pouch at the moment, I have 142 million GP and that is purely from PVM splits within team based bosses such as Virago. I've had a seismic singularity split of 48 mil. I've had a seismic one split of 98 mil. I've had a couple of neck splits such as Virtus Rope Top, Virtus One Split, uh, Pernix Cowl, and I think Pernix Chaps I've had at some point. Oh, Torva Plate Body, that was it. So all of those different splits, I've got 142, 140 mil GP coins in there. Now that is pure profit because what I've done is I've kept all of my splits within the coin pouch and any supplies I've had to buy I've bought out of that coin pouch so essentially it is a pure net profit that coin pouch is pure net profit and the loot the money cash that which I've got in my bank tab of around 915 mil has not been touched at all to buy supplies so it's pure net profit there in the money pouch and I'm trying to keep it that way moving forward all the way up until I complete this final boss progress so as you can see I'm just currently taking out the first whack of um, first of inventory full of loot and this is going to be the most expensive due to all of those herbs as you can see and seeds and those onyx bolts are going to add up a lot and of course the malevolent energies from rise of the six and the tectonic energies from virago so look at that amount there guys right on screen i'm going to zoom right into that amount 145 million gp guys and we're going to focus on the specific items which are making up the majority of that amount we have the onyxes from fight kiln that is only from 31 fight kilns guys and of course onyxes from araxor drops as well we have malevolent energies counting up to 24 mil and tectonic energies 23 mil and of course the onyx bolts a big load of cash from that there's 23 mil in total and 110 magic seeds for a total of 19.2 mil. So all of this is just from the random loot which you're picking up, whether from Virago drops, uh, Raxor drops, uh, potentially next loot as well, split up between the teams. Um, you know, there's lots of loot here which is just randomly dropped by monsters. Uh, this is completely an exception from the seismic drops from Virago, let's say, where you're getting those in about 1 in 40. But around after about 40 kills of Virago, you are getting a lot of loot. But Rise of the Six, a lot of malevolent energies there, and I can see those stacking up to way more than that into the future when I do grind out Rise of the Six. Now moving on to the second batch of my loot tab, which I am withdrawing now from the bank. I think the magic logs are going to stack up to quite a bit here, and I have really greatly enjoyed Final Boss. I mean, it's a really nice motivation, reminiscing on looking at how much money you're making. It really does add to the motivation. I think I will be doing some more soloing at God Wars Dungeon, potentially adding it up there with money. But there we go, guys. 43.7 mil, that is. I'll zoom in again. And that's, again, a decent amount. Obviously, this is not as much as the first half. These are just bits and bobs, odds, bits and pieces. Quite a bit from QBD here as well. As you can see with the two Dragon Kite shields, got those a while back. I actually got those back to back at QBD, which was ridiculous. Next final boss video will be containing some QBD progress and techniques there to prolong your uh, trips there. But yeah, guys, that is it. The loot tab so far, the net profit is 331 million GP and plenty more scope to increase that. I'm probably only just around a third or just under a third of my way there in terms of the total boss kill count, which I've got to obtain. I've almost obtained 100 kill count on each of the boss monsters, which is relevant to the final boss title. But according to my total boss kill, uh, monster kills there is plenty of scope here to make a lot more money guys i reckon we may even reach close to a bill if i'm lucky enough if i do more virago purple bomb rotation coming out on the 17th of december guys we'll be making probably a video leading up to that and look out for the stream on the 14th of december mod chris l on the runescape channel but yeah guys thanks guys for watching oh and one more thing and this i'm going to share with you hidden down deep down inside me i have a a strong urge to buy a party hat potentially as a celebration of obtaining the final boss title i may buy myself a party hat 
and thanks for your support with this series final boss episode 6 will be out probably in a couple of weeks thanks guys for watching as always good luck on your pvm trips and rack up your own loot tabs see you guys Thank you.